This is Marvel Universe Modular Armor Iron Man. Now, the, the figure is part of uh, the 2011 Marvel Universe uh, brand new set of figures, or the, as the packaging says, Marvel Universe Series 3. And this is figure 004. Um, it is actually wave 12 overall of the entire Marvel Universe toy line, but wave 1 of the new and uh, improved look of the Marvel Universe. Uh, okay, um, so let's begin with the packaging. Uh, the packaging, as you know, has been changed. Uh, it no longer has the hammer files or the original shield fury files. It now just has the, if I'm not mistaken, this is the movie shield logo, uh, which is probably uh, which you could probably see or probably is applicable to the latest wave of Marvel movies Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America and maybe S.H.I.E.L.D. Avengers and whatnot uh, because it clearly has a defined um, definition of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, the S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, what is what am I saying? Uh, abbreviation or uh, yeah the S.H.I.E.L.D. letters <laughs> the word is escaping me I know what it is anyway Strategic Hazard Intervention, Espionage Logistics Directorate. And that is supposedly what um, the agent from S.H.I.E.L.D. said to Pepper Potts in Iron Man, as how S.H.I.E.L.D. was defined. Um, acronym, there you go, the acronym. Um, so, here he is. The figure, very nice, very cool. It's a brand new sculpt of Iron Man. Um, as you can see, there's fantastic artwork. This artwork is now done by... It's, it's changed from the old uh, artist uh, that did both um, series of Marvel Universe 1 and 2. Now it's done by French uh, comic book illustrator... Uh, what's his name? It's very... How do you pronounce it? Olivier uh, Coppel. Coppel. He's, he's French, so... My French is a bit rusty. I took it when I was in high school. But uh, Olivier Coppel, for, for those of you, for those of us who don't speak French flu fluently, we, we'd probably read his name as Olivier Coypel, but it's Olivier Coppel. Anyway, very nice artwork. I, I'm, I'm really liking it. Uh, very clean, very smooth. So, okay, and here's the rest of the assortment. And, um, and as you can see, no more Norman Osborn or Nick Fury. We have Steve Rogers himself as the new director for S.H.I.E.L.D. so very cool sorry to belabor the point on the uh, packaging but it's just new it's my first uh, 2011 Marvel Universe figure so I wanted to just stress the point uh, okay and you'd think they changed the accessory but no Hasbro loves this funnel shaped electro blast whatever and they just decided to why don't we just slap it in with the new 2011 figures fans won't mind won't they Unbelievable. Anyway, but um, you know, everybody knows how I feel about that blaster. So here he is, the new modular armor, or previously known as the bleeding edge armor or bleeding armor. If you follow the the uh, Invincible Iron Man comic book by Matt Fraction and Salvador La Roca, you'd be very familiar with this uh, new type of Iron Man armor because. Uh, uh, this is what Tony, together with Reed Richards, have managed to come up with. They've uh, sort of found a way to make the armor part of his body, that it sort of bleeds out of him. It actually comes from his spine, somewhere here at the back. Every time he needs it, he, it just sort of pops out and, and engulfs him and coats him with the armor, much like how Green Lantern does with his suit, uh, if you've seen the trailer for the movie. But it, it just bleeds out of him and he forms the armor very cool he doesn't need any more servos or robotic uh, robotic arms to to uh, get him suited up I do hope the new Iron Man 3 uh, movie which will be out in a couple of years will reflect some of these some of this um, uh, concept of, of the modular armor anyway I'll give you a good look at it 
I am just I was just blown away with the amount of detail Hasbro has put in this figure. Uh, the pictures I, I've seen on the internet when before this thing was released was like uh, it, I probably did not do too much justice on the figure with the figure, but uh, seeing it up close, I had no regrets buying this one whatsoever. It is unbelievably designed, sculpted, detailed, and painted. Call it whatever you want to do, but there is hardly anything I can say wrong with this figure. And I actually found one that has very minimal uh, quality control issues on their paint job, on the paint job. Okay, so very cool, very nice. Um, the, he still has a stand, it says Marvel, Iron Man 004. And just for fun, here are the other incarnations of the Marvel Universe Iron Man molds. Uh, and by far, I think it's it's the best that I've seen. I like this one. I definitely like the um, uh, the extremis or extremis armor. Uh, my least favorite is probably this one because it's just been overly used. Um, but uh, I'm a big fan of Iron Man, and I'm not complaining. But these this one really just takes the cake out of all these modes. So if you're looking for a a good Iron Man figure and you missed out on all the others you might want to start with this one uh, articulation wise he's got a very nice ball jointed head he can actually look up without we just oh he has a ball joint and a hinge joint I didn't see that so very nice he's got a ball jointed upper torso a ball hinge a ball hinge shoulder bicep swivel uh, hinge wrist a uh, hinge elbows and a swivel wrist He's got a ball jointed, a ball jointed hip, I suppose, uh, thigh swivel, double jointed knee, and interestingly enough, he's got a new ball jointed ankle. And what's different about this one is compared to the previous, um, sorry, compared. Let me just stand him up. Uh, that's what the stand is for. Compared to the previous um, Marvel Universe figures, the, the the ball joint is actually you have the hinge on the foot and the actual peg on the leg, whereas the with the uh, with the new version you've got it reversed. You've got the hinge on the leg with the uh, with the peg on the on the foot. And what's interesting is they've pegged it actually diagonally because, it, as you can see, it rotates on the front part of the foot and not so much on the heel. Uh, this this may be new to the Marvel Universe figures, but it's definitely not new for Star Wars figures. If if you're a big Star Wars fan like I am, then you'll know that if you if you have this figure, the Commando Droid, the um, the uh, uh, ball joint, ball hinge ankle is roughly the same type of ankle they use for this figure. So there. Yeah, but if you're not a Star Wars fan, then you you probably don't care what the Star Wars figures look like. Anyway, so very nice. I, I especially like that. And what that does, the implications of that is for posability junkies like I like me. Uh, you can have him now posed in the various spread you know, spread leg poses. Uh, without with have without worrying about not being able to peg him on the stand that this way you can actually peg him now uh, and still have him very stable because of the the ankle articulation whereas with the others you know you'll have to get rid of them on the peg you can't you cannot mount them on pegs if you have them spread spread legged so very nice I mean that that was a big surprise for me didn't count on it and very welcome So, I mean, just so much posability uh, potential for this figure, and it, it is just driving me nuts. Just thinking of ways to pose him, but I, I really like it. Absolutely, my favorite Marvel Universe figure, favorite Iron Man figure to date, as of this post. So there you go. I've been rambling and talking too much. Uh, I, I promised I'd cut my fig, cut my videos and reviews, but th th this is just. Uh, there's just too much to say about this one. A lot of nonsense on my part, but I, I am just really uh, stoked to have him. So I do hope you find him on retail. If you're a big Iron Man fan, big Avengers fan, you're going to want and you're going to love this figure. So there you have it. The 
new Marvel Universe 2011 uh, modular armor Iron Man. Thanks for watching.